Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in the world. I think it's around 10 o'clock in the morning here in Utah. God bless you all. And today we are going to continue in the book of Revelation, and we are in chapter 9. In the New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, I hope everybody's having a good day today and that your weather is giving you some beautiful sunshine and a break in the rain. Okay, chapter 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke. And there came down out of the smoke locust upon the earth and upon them that was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass or the trees, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their forehead. So clearly there are men here on earth at this time. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locust were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as, as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the face of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as lion's teeth teeth of lions and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle and as they had tails like unto scorpions and were and there were stings in their tails and their power or authority was to hurt men five months and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the tongue, Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and, the, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns, of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, or, um, let's see, I think that's a time. Um, yeah, the hour. It's the hour and the day and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, or fiery red, and of jacinth, which is the hyacinth blue, and brimstone, sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone or burning sulfur. And by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which, it, which issued out of their mouths. 
for their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils or demons and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. And that's the end of chapter 9. And as you can see, it's going to be a period of five months. And um, Satan's going to be running loose. So, um, I'm not sure I recorded chapter 8. I think I did. But anyway, guys, as always, I love you.